Hey guys, TJ Miller with IDI. Today's video is on hose calibration. So we're up here at our corporate office in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we've added 50 foot of hose to our Reactor 3 setup. Now, anytime you add or subtract hose to your proportioning equipment, you should do a hose recalibration. The resistance level is gonna change as you add or subtract different lengths of hose. So we're gonna bring you up here to the screen. I'm gonna walk through step-by-step -step how to do it so you guys know how to do it going forward. All right, before we do our calibration, there's a couple of things we wanna take note of. First is gonna be what is our internal temperature in our unit? On reactor three, it shows me right here on the screen. My internal temperature is 65 degrees. That's important to know because once I measure the electrical resistance in the hose, it should be within a couple degrees of that same number. The other thing to remember is, is this needs to be done before anything is heated up. That's why I typically like to do this first thing in the morning before anything is heated up. That gets you your most accurate resistance reading. So it's 65 degrees, we took mental note of that. Nothing has been heated up. So we're gonna go up here to hit home, heat, and here's my calibration button right here. I'm gonna hit calibrate. It's gonna give you another reminder. Calibrate with hose at room temperature, which we are. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. It's gonna measure the electrical resistance. Gives me a value of 65 degrees, which I know is correct. I can hit accept and I'm good to go. So you can see that recalibration process was pretty simple on this Reactor 3. If you're unsure of the process with your individual spray foam equipment, reach out to your local IDI branch and they can get you in touch with one of the members of our spray foam tech team to help walk you through the process. Any other questions you may have on equipment, materials, or any of the other products we offer, reach out to any one of us here at IDI. Until next time, guys, TJ Miller, thanks for watching.